The Iroquois Chase is the final race of the week, and it's a Grade One over three miles and two furlongs. So the Gentleman Gold Cup distance there. So we'll get some pointers in this probably. Top one: Better Bob Irish for David Robertson, Bucko Martin, Liam Crackled, Alex Cherry, Dawn of the Warrior, Joshua Sutherland, Fraud, Stu Gray, Insatiable Forest, Craig Allen, Ozark Rival, Vinnie Gerard, Plain Lukey, Martin Liam, Silver Dollar City, Leon Van Rensburg, Square DJ, David Robertson, Subcontract, Craig Beckwith, Time to Shine, Craig Allen, Zanadu Star, Jim Murray, Annie Oakley, John Morgan, Belmore Stone, Graham Clutterbuck, Cape of Pears, Darren Thompson, Green Tea, David Hooley, Maritza, Thomas Rod. Rogers, Ozark, Lago, Vinnie Gerard, Shamadal, Phantom, Thomas Rogers, Shannon's Rose, John Morgan, Stone of Legends, Leon Van Rensburg, Take the Long Road, Joshua Sutherland, and Xenophobia, Jim Murray, so 24 this time, then big field in this one, biggest race of the week by far, over the jumps, and they're already up and racing, and getting their way towards the first of the obstacles, 24 to take in this, and there's already something down, I think, there's a fall there, Belmore Stone has gone, so Belmore Stone, down and out at the very first fence. So a long way to go to fall at the very first fence in this. So that one's out for Graham Clutterbuck. And Cape of Pears has now come through to take the lead as they take this. They don't take that sharp turn. They actually go straight on and take a slightly less sharp turn, I think. And there's a fence right in the middle of it as well. So a bit of a quirky track this. Some of these might find it a little bit difficult as they get to the third. And they'll get over it okay. We'll take the long road just the back marker that was the safest place to be because I was right in the lead I'm not sure I know the right way to go at the moment as they come down towards this next one you can see two fences pretty, pretty close together at this one as well as they get over number four and all over that one okay the loose horse showing the way and let's hope he knows his way around as they get over the next and Cape of Pears and joined by Xenophobia the great Jim Murray's got two guys in this. I don't know, he might be the only two guys in this one towards the back as well, by the looks of it. I was lucky it might be Stu Gray's fraud, but it's Cape of Pears, who's just about in front from Xenophobia second. And Crackled is third, some contract is fourth, and then Dawn of the Warrior as they get to the sixth. And over it they go. And very short run to this ditch. You can see the stand in the background, they're pretty the biggest race of the week. The last two or three races we've had. Over here in America, the grandstand's been about a mile long. We get to the course, it's got the biggest race, and it's got a little bit of a shed. Uh, it's a bit uh, strange as they get to number eight. And over it they go. I will say for that one with Crackled. Now just about the lead up. On Cape of Pear second, Xenophobia third. And they're very tightly packed. And they pass the wind post. And they've got another couple of circuits to go, I would think. With Crackled in front. The loose horse is a good six lengths clear and appears to be enjoying himself bowling along in the lead and grown clutchable for all he wishes. He's still got the jockey on its back. And towards the back, take the long road for Joshua Sutherland is a couple of lengths detached from the remainder. You don't see that too often as they get over number nine. A very short one to number ten. Which again, they're all over safely. With crackled in the lead. Just about second now is Annie Oakley Square DJs also there, both of those in yellow caps. As we continue to see them from a distance, so we can get the whole field in. Okay, towards the back, Silver Dollar City is towards the back as well. So, one or two of the big guns are always a fall there. Crackled has gone, the leader cracked straight into that one, and he's out of the race. And that's left Square DJ in the lead. So, Square DJ then in front there from Xanadu star Annie Oakley. And then Dawn of the Warrior and Better Bob Irish and Time to Shine as they take number 12 and that's the midway point in the jumping. Square DJ then, short run to the 13th. Gets over that one nicely, really attacked that fence and got away from it really well. And Dawn of the Warrior is second, Bucko's moved through quietly into third, then Annie Oakley is fourth and Zanadu Star is fifth. Shannon's Rose is sixth and Dawn Shine is seventh and then Better Bob Irish and Green Tea and State of Legends and Cape of Bears has dropped right back. So too Xenophobia, then Insatiable Forest and Fraud. And Towards the back, Ozark Rival and Shamanel Phantom, Maritza and Ozark Logo, Plyme Lukey, and 
take the long road in Silver Dollar City as they take the 14th and they're all over that very short road of this ditch. See how they take so there's a four and there's another one gone. It's Annie Oakley who's gone this time. So Annie Oakley's out of it for John Morgan and Square DJ is the leader from Dawn of the Warrior second. Bucko is third and Cape of Pears is now running on again into fourth. Time to shine his fifth. This is the 16th and over that one they go and they're all safely over that one with Square DJ the leader as they come up past the stand then. They've got one more circuit to go after this one and it's Square DJ who leads by about two and a half lengths past the winning post then. One more circuit to go in week one of this new season of the SO7 Online League and it's Square DJ in front from Cape of Pears in second. Dawn of the Warrior is third and Shannon Rose is four. Time to show in his five and Bucko is six and Benoit Morris is seven and Xenophobia is eight. Then Green Tea is nine and Subcontract is ten as they get to number 17. Over that one they go looking towards the back of the field. Maritza is now the back marker. Short run of the 18th and over that one Square DJ still in the lead. Square DJ then Cape of Pears is now coming back through to challenge for second. Dawn of the Warrior third. Better by Morris. Shannon's Rose subcontract. Bit of a gap then to the rest of the row headed by Bucko and time to shine an insatiable forest. Silver Dollar City's creeping into it round the outside and is now getting much closer and is sweeping through into third place as we speak. Cape of Pears in the lead. Square DJ over the 90th and look at this Silver Dollar City. Stone last a minute ago is now three lengths clear. It's Stone Silver Dollar City. Silver Dollar City with just about four and a half furlongs to go has suddenly gone five or six lengths clear. Has it gone too soon? It jumped up a little bit slowly. Better by Morris has moved through in a second. Then comes Shannon's Rose and some contract over the 21st they go and it's Silver Dollar City who's clearing the lead. Silver Dollar City from Better Bob Irish in second. Shannon Rose is third then time to shine. Three more to take and Silver Dollar City is four lengths clear. Jockey has a little look around. Better Bob Irish is second. Then comes Shannon Rose then Square DJ. Time to shine. Dawn of the Warriors after that one. Then Cape of Pears and Subcontract but they've got to get to Silver Dollar City. Silver Dollar City still got two furlongs to go. Over the third last he goes. He's in the lead by about four lengths then Streamer reply Luke is the back marker, but it's Silver Dollar City from Better Bob Irish. Over that one, they've got just one more to take now. As they swing towards home, you can see the final fence in the distance. It's Silver Dollar City, four lengths clear of Better Bob Irish in second. He comes to it, he skips over it, he gets away from it well, and they're not going to get anywhere near this one. Silver Dollar City has turned this into a procession. Stone last with a circuit to go, swept through and took it easily by four or five lengths. Better Bob Irish second, time to shine third, insatiable for his fourth, and then green. Team Jalen's Rose and all the way back to Maritza, who was the last one to finish but got round. And Silver Dollar City staked a claim for the Cheltenham Gold Cup already. Surely goes straight to the top of the anti post betting for the Cheltenham Showpiece with a performance like that. Stone last with a circuit to go, and somehow came through and just took the race by the scruff of the neck. and Ended up the best part of four lengths clear. So Silver Dollar City takes it for Leon Van Rinsburg, Ben of Irish for David Robertson second, Craig Allen third and fourth with time to shine an insatiable forest. And Shannon's Rose for John Morgan was fifth. That's the end of your week one. We'll be back next week with week two and everybody's gone off to a reasonably good start.